this is the FN P90. Today's video is extremely fun to shoot, and I can't wait to talk about this, but first, you know I gotta get the bag. Today's video over the P90 could not have been made without the guys over at Summit Armory. Uh, they sent me all the 5.7 ammo that I needed. They are incredible. Tim over there really helped me out. They're the guys that bring all the cool machine guns out to Ohio Range Day. Fantastic guys over there at Summit Armory. Uh, you should really go check them out. They're one of us, so uh, they're awesome over there. I'm going to put their website in the description in my link tree. Um, I can't put it directly in the description, so you'll have to go to my link tree and then click on their website, but go there. Our next sponsor are our friends over at Infinite Defense. They're the guys that make these infinity targets, the ones that you should be shooting and not those stupid cardboard ones. Use code NANNERS for 15% off. Next is Matthews Fabrication. Uh, they don't make anything for the P90, but they make a lot of stuff for all the other stuff that everyone uses. Uh, I bet I could beg him to make something for the P90. Who cares? Uh, code NANNERS for 10% off. And finally, our usual ammo sponsor for the channel is Hot Munitions. Unfortunately, not everyone makes 5.7 Fancy Boy rounds, so they couldn't send us any this time, but use code NANNERS for 5% off. That's right, this is an FN P90, not a PS90, a P90. As you saw in the intro, we have semi and extra semi, uh, ultra semi, uh, enhanced semi, whatever you wanna say for YouTube's little guidelines, call it that. This is an icon in gun culture everywhere, uh, whether it's been in TV, movies, video games, uh, whatever. If you see this, you know exactly what it is. For all my Tarkov nerds out there, this is just as fun as it is in game. Even the packing mags part, that takes forever. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm going to say in Tarkov, we actually have it better because uh, it takes even longer to load in real life. But let's get into it right now. Uh, on the front here, I have a BNT FNP90 suppressor. Uh, it's a little QD system. Uh, they have the collar on here, uh, sort of like cut in half. So you're able to slip it over the muzzle device and uh, just direct thread it uh, onto the little collar there. It's pretty cool. You don't need to have a special thread or anything like that. It just goes straight over. As you can tell, it looks a little different than a stock P90. That's because the upper is different from Imperial Arms. It is the FN90, <laughs> like E-F-F-E-N 90. That's how it's spelled. It's a billet upper uh, that just replaces the sort of dated upper that the P90 comes with. On top, I'm running an EOTech XPS 2-1. That one stands for the single dot in the middle. No ring, just the single dot. It's pretty cool. Speaking of pretty cool, let's go into the gun here and take the mag out. There's your awesome translucent mag that everyone knows as soon as they see the magazine what gun it goes to. It's pretty cool because the upper and lower are the easiest thing to separate probably in the world. And, and as soon as you see this, you're probably going to think it's a little too easy. Okay, now we're done. And when putting it back on, it's the same way. Now it's good to go. I mean, that, that's literally it. It'd be really cool if you had a bunch of different uppers, if they made different barrel lengths, like a, a 16 inch, 14, 5, 13, 10, and maybe even shorter, and just swap them out. And, and I mean, it'd be that simple. The P90 is fully ambidextrous. Uh, the safety selector is down here by the trigger. It's a little rotary system where um, you, you just use your index finger to move it around. First you're on safe, then semi, then ultra semi. And it works on this side as well, just like that. The charging handle is also ambidextrous, right there, see, actuating it, pretty cool. The mag release is also ambidextrous. You can do this side, this side, or both at the same time, which is probably the easiest way. The ejection port is right here, and just goes straight down. You don't have to worry about it going left or right or, or hitting any of your uh, guys in the face unless they're literally prone or crouched right beneath you, then they're in for a, a golden shower. Now, fully loaded in this configuration, uh, it weighs seven pounds, 15 ounces. Um, so, I mean, just shy of eight pounds, but I mean, look how short it is. It has a 10.4 inch barrel. Uh, the PS90s come with a 16 inch barrel, which is pretty dumb, but it is what it is. Like I said, this is a true FN P90. This is a post sample. Um, so it's not been converted from a PS90. It's just the real deal. Now the P90 operates on a straight blowback closed bolt system. So um, it's, I mean, there's no gas you have to worry about if you're changing the barrel or anything, you just thread it right in and you're good to go. The recoil on these rounds here, which is a 5.7 by 28 millimeter, uh, it's like a 
baby little uh, 223, pretty cool. The recoil is like nothing. <laughs> I mean, you're able to just hold down the trigger and go to town. I mean, you, you're able to hold it right on target very easily. Speaking of the trigger, the trigger on this thing is a progressive trigger. Now, let me show you what that means because it is much, much different than any trigger that you have ever felt, I guarantee it. So we are on extra semi here, uh, gun is clear. So extra semi, there's the click that you would think, but I only went back about halfway. So let me re-rack it. I have not reset the trigger. I'm still in the same exact position. There's the second click. So I'll do it again, show you from this side. Here is one click. Okay, have not reset the trigger, here we go. So that means if you are an extra semi, uh, you are able to go single semi with just a little half press, and then if you wanna go full blazing, you can go all the way. I don't know why they did that. Um, I mean, I, I understand uh, being able to just tap every now and then, um, so it's, it's decent that way, but I don't know if the purpose was uh, guys are jumping from behind uh, doors and stuff like that and you get really scared so you pull the trigger as hard as you can uh, you're, you're still going to be in that that mode I I don't know it's very interesting for sure uh, it, it is something that you have to get used to but I'm glad that it's not really put on a whole lot of firearms today reloading um, is a little difficult because it, you have to really get it in there exactly right uh, you have a little bit of guidelines to go with this FN90, but uh, with the actual P90 upper that, that comes stock, it's a little easier because you have guide rails, sort of. This one only has one, where you have to line it up straight on, and then you have to connect this sort of helical part back here uh, directly. You can't be off to the left or off to the right. You have to be straight center, and then you push it in. A lot of people hit it and slam it. I didn't do that a whole lot. The easiest way to get the mag in without hitting it would be once you're putting it down, you use your index fingers back here to sort of push back on the mag release and the mag kind of just like floats in. I know if you're reloading in a um, dicey scenario, you're probably not gonna think of that. You can hit it in or push it in just like that. You're good to go. Speaking of mags, the magazines are standard capacity for a P90. Uh, for those of you that don't know the capacity of a P90, for YouTube's sake, um, Google it. All in all, this is probably one of my favorite guns that I've shot on this channel. <laughs> I'm sure the extra semi has something to do with it. Uh, it's just so funky and, and so cool, and the round is, is zipping through the air. Um, it was made for a specific purpose. I'm not going to get into it because uh, Forgotten Weapons exists, and he does a fantastic job on explaining the history and purpose behind this weapon uh, and the round that was made for it. I mean, the aesthetics of this firearm are just, I mean, it's, it's definitely a work of art, an abstract work of art, but it's a work of art. Again, it's one of the most fun guns I've shot on this channel. I highly encourage everyone to um, explore their escape from Tarkov fantasies. <laughs> <laughs> and and build something that uh, that you would use in that game uh, that you would also use in real life. As always, I'll see you on the other side.